stay where you are. I'll shoot. I'll give you whatever you want. He will become the greatest crime fighter the world has ever known. It won't be easy. Chapter 1 Who I Am How I Come to Be January 4th Gotham City Maybe it's all I deserve now. Maybe it's just my time in hell. Twelve hours. My stomach's been trying to eat itself for the last five. Barbara's flying in. I don't care how much it costs. Trains no way to come to Gotham. In an airplane from above, all you'd see are the streets and buildings. Full of the thicket and surlaws. We will be beginning our final descent to Gotham City. Please return seats and trays to their upright position. From here, it's clean shafts of concrete, snowy rooftops the work of men who died generations ago. From here, it looks like an achievement. I should have taken the train. I should be closer. I should see the enemy. By now, Barbara has gotten her test back. I only hate myself a little for hoping they came out negative. This is no place to raise a family. Nice book for small donation? No, please. Gord! Lieutenant James Gord! Nice book! Look at the pictures! <laughs> Walk, skinhead! Name's Flass, Lieutenant. Detective Flass. Commissioner Loeb sent me to make sure you didn't miss your appointment with him. Hope you don't mind if I call you Jimmy. Well, I. <laughs> Welcome to Gotham, Jimmy. It's not as bad as it looks, especially if you're a cop. Cops got it made in Gotham. Welcome home, Mr. Wayne. How does it feel to be back? Any plans, Mr. Princess Wayne? Caroline. Any truth to the rumors? No comment. The 25-year-old heir to the Wayne Millions declined to comment on rumors of romance in his life or on his plans to return to Gotham after 12 years abroad. We'll keep you posted on Gotham's richest and best-looking native son. Tom? Thank you, Jackie. Following the disappearance of a key witness, Assistant District Attorney Harvey Dent has withdrawn conspiracy charges against Police Commissioner Lou. You know we're all delighted to have you on the team, Lieutenant. You'll get my best work, sir. I promise. And we are a team. A team needs team spirit, don't you think? Yes, it does. And your record shows you've got what it takes. I know I've made my mistakes, sir. I'm grateful for this chance to prove myself. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's smoking. What mistakes have you made, Lieutenant? You kept the media away from it. That's the bottom line, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'd feel better about toughing out the nicotine fit if I didn't have to smell those eucalyptus cough drops of his. I swear you won't have to worry about my honesty, Commissioner. Last thing on my mind. Last thing. I have trust you've been well, Master Bruce. Alfred. Wayne Manor. Built as a fortress generations past to protect a fading line of royalty from an age of equals. Mother. Father. It's good to be back. Knew you'd like the commissioner, Jimmy. And he'll be just as good to you as you are to him. You can count on that. I keep telling myself it's either this or pumping gas. Then I tell myself I'm doing it for Barbara. Flash, what? Nothing I can't handle solo, Jimmy. Mother know you're here, Stevie? Oh man, not doing any- 
I keep talking to myself. This time I say you'd better know your facts before you bring another cop down. Especially in public. Flass has had Green Beret training, I can tell. And he knows how to use his size. I watch and I don't do a damn thing. And I memorize every move. For future reference. Was that necessary? Had this little beauty in his pocket. It's a comb, Flass. I'm only human, Jimmy. The tests. I pray they're negative. February 12th. The boys. They've been asking me to talk to you, Jimmy. Thought maybe I could get a word in, knowing how tight we are. They're worried about you. I'm touched, Flass. But right now, I'm worried about a homicide. Turn left. <laughs> Never make it in this business if you don't learn to relax, Jimmy. I mean, we've got our own way of doing things here in Gotham. I mean, you came down pretty hard on Morgan. I mean, you were the baby on the way. Call me Lieutenant. Make your next right. February 21st. I'm not ready. I have the means. The skill. But not the method. No. That's not true. I have hundreds of methods. But something's missing. Something isn't right. I have to wait. I have to wait. February 26. So Father Donnelly! He slips Gordon a 50 with a handshake. And Gordon, he looks at it like his hand's got a disease. And he throws a 50 in the Padre's face. Gives a squad a two hour lecture. Puts Shell on probation. He's just not fitting in, Gil. I had such hopes for that boy. I could get the boys together. Soften them up. No, not while I'm in town. There's enough heat on me as it is. No. You'll absolutely have to wait until I'm at the conference in Washington. Two weeks, Flass. March 11. The engine hums, gently, not quite convinced it should stop. Everything is in place. The attendant was even obliging enough to ask me for my autograph. My alibi is set. Bruce Wayne has been sighted at the same hotel as a visiting Hollywood sex queen. That should generate sufficient rumors to account for my whereabouts for the next few hours. This is a reconnaissance mission. Until I know more, I must avoid combat. Until I'm ready. My anonymity is an obvious priority. The murder of my parents is a matter of public record. All it requires is a change in clothing and complexion and a single, memorable, distracting detail. Requested off this night shift four times now. Damn it, Barbara needs me at night these days. Barbara and little James. So I hope it's a boy. So what? Four times and no reply. I'm not making friends in the department. You going to work, Lieutenant? Gonna be late. May have to skip the whole night. Old trick talking to distract me. Guarantees an attack from behind. Should have checked my military record. I was taught to handle worse than this. But then, it's been a while. Somewhere in the middle of it, they tell me it's just a warning. Kill them! 
They remind me that I've got a pregnant wife. Hit him in the face! Toward the end, I hear a familiar chuckle. <laughs> Fast. It's a 20 block walk to the enemy camp. It's been educational. I was sized up like a piece of meat by the Leather Boys in Robinson Park. I waded through pleas and half-hearted threats from junkies at the Finger Memorial. I stepped across a field of human rubble that lay sleeping in front of the overcrowded Sprang mission. Finally, the worst of it, the East End. Hard to believe it's gotten worse. Cheer you up. I doubt it. How old are you? Young as you want me to be. Stupid! That's all wrong, Holly! You're doing it wrong! Do what you said, just like... That's right, honey. But you gotta pick you types. Gotta know which ones want what you got. This one's not. I haven't said, have I? That vice I smell? That crazy vet bit? That's old, man. I'm not the police. Believe me. You still here? Told you to go, Holly. He hadn't said... We talked this over ah! later, sweet chunks. No. I think you're finished with her. I'm provoking him. I really shouldn't. Man, you pushing. You on the edge. You looking for a new scar? That's right. Just tell me where, man. Oh, jeez. Can't be advised. We're paid up. Just got some idiot. How to get himself killed. Selena, don't stop now. Shut up, skunk. You know what I hate most about men, skunk? Please, Selena, tell me why you hate us so. Oh, please. Never met me. Say it again. His eyes keep flicking away from the girl to me. He turns away for a second. A dead giveaway. He's pretty fast. I won't say he has a chance. But he's fast. He's getting a little too good for me. Better wrap it up. Idiot. I never should have done this. I have to get out of here before I draw attention. Ah! Come on, you guys. I got him. Very good, Bruce. Really put the fear of God into them. Damn it. Nobody hurts Holly. Hurts? Then he broke my wrist. Mess. I made a mess of it. No excuse. Didn't control myself. Another one? Hissing like a cat? Looks like she knows what she's doing. Be careful. That's good. She's had karate training. But only karate. Oh no. Freeze! Freeze! Selena! Get up, Selena! If I'm caught, it's over. Hey, he didn't move, man. He was going to! Hit an artery. Losing blood. Get up. Before they... He's a doctor. Ugh. Maybe after he's booked. No. Can't let them... Can't. Any cash? Couple bucks. No ID. Look, man. He's bleeding all over the seat. We gotta take him to the hospital. You look, boy. I've run into a thousand like him. Drifters. Who needs them? If he dies, he... You two. Stop the car. Get out. What the hell? Don't mind him, boy. Probably hopped up on something fast, you know? I warned you. Oh my god, he... Fire. 
Only takes seconds to reach the gas tank. Sirens. More police. The tank will go up before they get here. These men. They probably have families. Smoke from the blazing police cruiser can be seen for blocks. The two officers were found unconscious, 30 feet away. <laughs> made it. Somehow. Must have made it here. To the car. Hope I didn't do anything stupid getting here. Done enough wrong tonight. Turn the key, Bruce. Isn't difficult. Just a little slippery. They did just enough to keep me out of the hospital. Can't let Barbara see me like this. Detective Flash, he's off duty, Lieutenant. Probably at the poker party over at shoot with the guys. The guys. Maniac! Almost hit me! Should arrest the clown. No way to treat a Porsche. That's Bruce Wayne's car. What's he on? Cocaine. Rich people take cocaine. I saw a special on it. God. Fear of God. Fear. I have to make them afraid. Dodging the Porsche gives me enough adrenaline to make the drive to Bay Ridge. The bruises are starting to form, and my spine feels fused when Wilson says goodbye to the guys. Of course, Wilson's the first to leave. Doesn't want to make his wife stay up too late waiting for him. And he still has his girlfriend to see tonight. Twenty minutes later, Stanson stumbles out, hunched over like he's lost his life savings. Then Rennie. I let them both go home. Finally. Flass. He staggers to his station wagon and gets in. It only takes him two tries. I hear his engine start and watch him pull out. He almost flattens the mailbox before he remembers to turn his lights on. I keep mine off and follow. I haven't seen a house in three minutes when I pull up beside him and jerk the wheel. He's ten miles over the speed limit. Not fast enough to kill him when he hits the tree. I show him my gun. He says my name and drops his. He's big. Green Beret training. It's been 15 years since I had to take out a Green Beret. Even so, he deserves a handicap. I don't crack his skull. I don't crush his larynx. I don't break his ribs or punch my hand through his chest. I do just enough to keep him out of the hospital. Toss his gun into the woods. Should be rusty by morning. I take his clothes off and leave him in his own cuffs by the side of the road. He'll never report it. Not Flass. He'll make up some story that involves at least ten attackers and never admit I did it. But he'll know. And he'll stay away from Barbara. Thanks, Flass. You've shown me what it takes to be a cop in Gotham City. Father. I'm afraid I may have to die tonight. I've tried to be patient. I've tried to wait. But I have to know. How, Father? How do I do it? What do I use to make them afraid? If I ring this bell, Alfred will come. He can stop the bleeding in time. Another of your gifts to me, Father. I have wealth. The family manor rests above a huge cave that will be the perfect headquarters. Even a butler with training in combat medicine. Yes, Father. 
I have everything but patience. I'd rather die than wait another hour. I have waited. Eighteen years. Eighteen years since... Since Zora. The Mark of Zora. Since the walk that night. And the man with frightened, hollow eyes and a voice like glass being crushed. Since all sense left my life, without warning it comes. Crashing through the window of your study and mine. I've seen it before. Somewhere. It frightened me as a boy. Frightened me. Yes, Father. I shall become a bat. Chapter 2 War is declared. April 4th. The day starts early with a call from Merkel about a hostage situation in Brigham Circle. Barbara wakes up with me. She always does. No matter how quiet I try to be. And somehow has my coffee ready by the time I pull on my pants. Come in, Merkel. The rain has worked its magic on the wire in my heap. Between Rice Krispie sounds, I get every fourth word. I'm two blocks from the action. My stomach lurching with the engine through backed up traffic. Damn rubberneckers. No! Can't! Don't want! Isn't blank! Best I can tell, nobody's sure what the kidnapper wants. He isn't making much sense. He's holding three children at gunpoint. Sounds like murphy has got some background on him. I said no, sir. He hasn't fired a shot. No, sir. Not a criminal record. Got the word from Arkham Asylum. Yes, sir. Arkham. Name's Albert Bloom. Diagnosed paranoid schizophrenic. Released two weeks ago. No, sir. No. A violent... Sir. Trouble. It's... Brandon. Brandon. Jesus. Coffee splashes in my lap, taking the last of the cotton from my mind. Brandon. Him and his lunatic Gestapo. It'll be a massacre. We're not here to argue, Merkel. We're here to clean things up. And I don't see a sign of your soft-hearted Lieutenant Gordon. Oh no! That bat almost hit me! Can't see what's... Last month. Brandon and his SWAT team calmed down a ride in Robinson Park. Didn't even leave the statue standing. Defibrillate! Doesn't smell often! Too many guns! Those kids don't have a chance. They'll push that poor bastard over the edge. Oh man, it's Gore! Gore! Go you find your own war, Brandon. I'll have you up on charges. I take the ugly weight off my hip. Hold it up like a dead rat. Brandon's man understands. Behind me, Brandon curses. I head for the front door. I'm sure nobody can see my knees wobble. I hope Barbara isn't watching. I know she is. Lieutenant Gordon has entered the building. No shots yet. Stairs creak too loud. The sneeze has been doing for 20 minutes, just keeps threatening. My nose drips. I don't have the nerve to wipe it. The little girl is crying. Spider! Nasty! Don't! Noise it! No lunch! No lunch! I'll want her out. My shoes are full of icy rain. My feet are warm compared to my stomach. No lunch! No gangrene lunch! 
I know, I know. No <laughs> get Poor kids must have been scared out of their wits. Right. Like I wasn't. April 5th. Humiliated me in front of my men. Humiliated me. Nothing but trouble, that one. You do know I sympathize, don't you, Brandon? Yes, you do. And you know I'd like nothing better than to remove him from service. My good friend, Detective Flash, has made several suggestions along these lines. But we must be patient. Gordon has the press on his side. Kicks. Gunpowder burns my eyes and fills my nostrils. A wad of lead flies. If that were a man, the wad would shatter his spine and he'd feel his legs go dead even as his heart explodes. Another kick. The wad would leave a neat, round hole, and I'd see the horror in his eyes as it pushed half his brain through the back of his skull. I hate the gun. I hate my job. I keep practicing. April 6th. Another kick. Strong boy, little James. I pray he's very strong and smart enough to stay alive. How did I let this happen? How did I screw up so badly? To bring an innocent child to life in a city without hope. April 9th. They call it my night off. Starts out well enough with the smell of Barbara's lemon chicken and her fingers kneading baby oil into my shoulders. Rachmaninoff played soft. Her idea. Corny, but it works. Don't have to go to Metropolis for a man of steel. Could use a jackhammer on your back. Feels great, hun. Said you'd unplug it, Jim. Honey, uh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Yes, Sergeant? Maybe you should call the zoo. All right, all right. I'll get him. It's Merkel. Something about a giant bat? Chicken will keep? The costume works. Better than I'd hoped. They freeze and stare, and give me all the time in the world. I'm coming close on the one who looks the strongest. Throw McGraw I've brought all the way from Africa. <gasps> and suddenly everything falls to pieces. The one on my left calls for his mother. To my right, the other collects his senses and leaps into position. He'll be troubled. The strong one gets scared. Too scared. No! I'm no killer! He screams like a girl. Can't be older than 15. A child. Just a child. The one I was worried about takes his shot. He's trained. Kick's got power. He doesn't realize or he doesn't care that if I let go, we're 20 stories up. Again, this is getting bad. <laughs> Steady. Hold on. Some of that one's ribs go. Forget him. Television still hasn't hit the street. Doesn't matter. Hold on. Here he comes. Brace with leg. Now grab him. Twist it. Make it count. The television hits. I pull a limp body up. Good thing he blacked out. If he'd kept thrashing, my shoulder and teeth. Still where they belong. Lucky. 
lucky amateur. May 15th. If we could stop being hysterical for a moment, gentlemen. Our vigilante, our Batman, as he's called, has apparently committed 78 acts of assault in the past five weeks. During this time, certain patterns of timing and method have emerged. It is clear that he possesses extraordinary physical skill. Not he. It. You've got something to contribute, Detective Flass? <laughs> he's not human. I'm just telling you he's not human. Thank you, Detective Flass. While the vigilante has been careful to remain unpredictable, choosing the neighborhoods for his assault at random, he consistently operates between the hours of midnight and 4 a.m. Anybody got a match? Thank you, Detective Essen. He's working his way from street-level crime to his upper echelons, from junkie mugger to pusher to supplier, and along the way to any cops that might be helping the whole process along. Now, Flash, tell me what you know about Batman. Try not to exaggerate. It's like my report, Lieutenant. I received an anonymous tip leading me to an East End cocaine delivery. I was in the process of single-handedly apprehending the felon, says Flass, and coughs. He looks around the room to see if anybody's going to challenge him and goes on. Then I heard giant wings flap. It flew down from the sky. Somebody chuckles. Flass turns another shade redder. Its wings were about 30 feet across. It bellowed like, well, I've never heard anything like it. One of the felons I had not yet disarmed produced a 357 magnet. He fired, point blank range at the creature, and the bullet passed straight through the creature like it wasn't there. The snorts and giggles stopped Flass cold for a second. He shoots me a look I'd like to frame and put on my wall. And it started laughing. <laughs> Other members of the gang drew forth their guns. Something flew from the creature's hands. I remember noticing it had claws. Claws? Right. It was little dark things. They paralyzed the felons. But me, he singled out. Little dark things? Gentlemen, gentlemen. Go on, Flass, please. May 19th. The costume and the weapons have been tested. It's time to get serious. Chauffeur by chauffeur, I make my way towards the mayor's mansion. Only three of them are awake. Only half of them are armed. There's a guard with a machine pistol in the yard. Lieutenant Gordon, what a pleasant surprise. Batman, I am eating, Lieutenant. No, I have not filled your request for personnel. I find them excessive. Yes, Lieutenant, I am well aware of how many laws the vigilante is breaking. But there are two sides to everything, aren't there? Lieutenant Gordon, I've been hearing his name often. All the night people seem to hate him. Flood's all set. Yes, there are. And the Batman is having a positive effect on public spirit. Or have you noticed a drop in street crime the past weeks? Further, I am not in the habit of explaining myself to my lieutenants. I hope we understand each other, Gordon. Have you seen that man, Commissioner? They say he's huge. You shouldn't pry, Marion. Gil has his hands full these days. We're trusting him to cope with the Batman. And with Gordon. And I appreciate your trust, boys. Yes, I do. Good to see you all. It's been a while. Not yet. Hey, Gil. Nobody was about to come near you until the Poles were in on the Batman thing. Don't go cheap on the wine, Marion. Charlie, the things you say. The councilman is blunt about his concerns. This is an election year. My organization is likewise concerned, Commissioner. Batman is costing us money. 
Two sides to everything, friends. Look at the long term. A few street operations have put out of action, yes. But the people of Gotham City have a hero. Makes them feel safe. And the safer they feel, the fewer questions they ask. I don't like it. It's stirring things up. That kid Dent is pushing Eternal Affairs to go after Detective Flass. Flass would be difficult to replace. And should he talk? Dent is your problem, Falcone. Yes, he is. Now. What the hell? Who the? God! We'll all die! The lights! What happened to the lights? Now, take out the wall. Hit the flood. It's showtime. Settle down, damn it! It's just smoke! Some stupid prank? Poison it! Shut up! Ladies, gentlemen, you have eaten well. You have eaten Gotham's wealth, its spirit. Your feast is nearly over. From this moment on, none of you are safe. May 20th. No excuses, Gordon. That vigilante goes under instantly, or it's your job. Yes, sir. June 2nd. She knows how to walk in heels. So few women do these days. It's practically a lost art. You could hear it from the rooftops. Normally screaming wouldn't help. Not in this neighborhood. Here on the East End, a midnight walk constitutes attempting suicide. Lucky for her that there are so many cops around. There's Sergeant Feck playing wino. In hunched in that sedan, Detectives Shelley and Lerner. There are six more officers waiting crouched in stoops and garbage dumpers down the block. Gordon's wasting a lot of manpower on these traps. June 5th. Sir! Your rolls! It's gone! Sir! It was him! Said the rolls is in the river! Even told me which pier! Thinks he's damned Robin Hood! He dies! June 6th. He knows when and where we set our traps for him. And night by night, he terrorizes the most powerful men in Gotham. You heard what he did to the Romans, car? Left myself silly, Lieutenant. A Rolls Royce? Yes. You've been after the Roman for years, from what I hear. Actually, came close to indicting him once or twice. Some of your witnesses changed their testimony, the rest vanish. Must be frustrating. Oh, yes. I understand he's used his muscle to keep an assistant district attorney. <laughs> you keep in shape, don't you, Mr. Dent? What are you driving at, Lieutenant? I need to know where you were on the following dates. Thought he'd never leave. You can come out now. Alibis? Dent had one alibi, Essen, for every date. Says he was home between midnight and four, with his wife. No point in questioning her. You really think he's Batman, Lieutenant? It's possible. Dead certainly is passionate enough. But it'd take more than muscles to fight the way Batman does, or to get around the way he does, and those weapons. I mean, he's got an arsenal. Hard to afford on Dead's salary. Money, Lieutenant. Bruce Wayne is the richest man in Gotham, and... Being from out of town, you might not know this, but his parents were murdered by a mugger, I think. He 
He was just a little boy at the time. I could kiss you as a... I'm already tasting her lipstick on the cigarette. Her fingernails bite into my knee. That truck, what the hell? Maybe it's pills. Maybe it's a heart attack. Maybe it's both, but that doesn't matter. He's out of control. His foot must be pressed to the accelerator. Oh no, that old woman. Can't let this happen. Come on, the heat, move. Lieutenant! Take the wheel! Damn. No time, no time. Can't reach. No time. It's over. I've blown it. How long have I been out? Not long. Essen. Essen's got him. Never mind me. Don't take your eyes off. I'm calling for backup! Stop, or I'll... The fingers don't work. Lieutenant! She said it's Batman! And Brandon, he... Batman! Went down that alley. There he is! Save that old woman, he... They think I attacked those cops opening up. Catch a bullet in my leg. Ignore it. Blind alley. No way out. Except that window. Only chance. Buy me a moment. No one fires without my order. Get the front of that place covered. Marco! Take a squad to the roof. Lieutenant! It's the commissioner! The roof. If I can reach it before they do. Before they get air support. Commissioner, there's no need for... Batman hasn't attacked anybody. Commissioner, you can't let Brandon... No. Oh, no. The Commissioner didn't want to miss the chance. He called in his friend Brandon. He said he checked the building. He said it's due for demolition. He said nobody would be hurt. Nobody except a derelict or two. And Batman. <sighs> Chapter 3 Black Dawn. Stairwells collapsing. Fall with. Get away from the fire! That old man... doesn't have a chance. Can't help him. Can't help him. Screaming. Can't help him. Oh no! Thermite! In my belt! Catch it! Get it off! Still have weapons. In cape. And boots. Need them if I survive this. Metal. Trap doors. Metal. Might be enough to protect me. Provided that warning is a lie. Lucky. Keep the pick in my glove. Lucky. June 7th. Go away, Otto. You don't eat for an hour. Mm. Siamese. Too noisy. Should have left you at the market. The whole crew now? Ganging up? It's mutant. Holly, 
What the hell time is it? Selena. Outside. Explosions. Ugh. Christ. Not even light out. Christ. Five in the morning? I'm being serious, Selena. Things are blowing up by Robinson Park. Maybe Brandon's cornered another jaywalker. Turn the TV on, Holly. Gotta have something on this. The fifth load goes up. I pray it'll be the last. He will be soon, anyway. Brandon and the collection of sociopaths he calls a SWAT team will see to that. Commissioner's orders. That's what Brandon told me. The police commissioner of Gotham City wants a corpse. Watch where you're going, you- This is Unit 3. We're approaching target area. No prisoners, men. Lieutenant Gordon! You shouldn't be standing just yet! I'm alright. Batman. He's made enemies of every criminal in Gotham. And nearly every elected official. They've only got him cornered because he got hurt saving an old woman's life. They... I mean, we, of course. Report that the Batman has been surrounded by Gotham police after he attacked two officers. One of them, Hero Cop Lieutenant James Gordon. The vigilante is now trying to hide in an abandoned tenement of Robinson Park. Gunfire has been heard, and explosions. Selena, it's Batman. Can we... What the hell? Grab your coat. Down, Otto. There's plenty. Now there's a tense silence. Eyewitnesses say a heavily armed SWAT team of 18 men has entered the building. We've entered the lobby. No sign of them yet. Unit 1 reporting. Second floor is a mess. Nothing living. Unit 2 reporting. Found a body under the water heater. Just an old wino. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Over here. Give me some light. Just a chimney. No, down there. Over there, the floor. If he got down there, trapdoors, metal, he might have survived. So perforated, soldier. Units one and two, stay where you are. This is only precautionary fire. If he's down there, he trapped himself. Prager, Fenton, Sussman, downside, move it! Checking basement area, no trouble yet. Other wino up here, he's cold. Wait, got something. No, it's just a dog. No trouble yet. Steady burst if you find him, no matter how dead he looks. Go for the chest. We'll need his face for identification. Jesus! Another wino! He said the place was deserted! Super. Must have lived here. Nobody home now. Nothing here, men. We're coming back up. I like you right where you are, Brandon. Hold your fire. But only kill your own. Too many people have died already. Have the other squads withdrawn. I can't guarantee their safety. No use! Something's on top of it! Units 1 and 2! Converge on the lobby! He's here! Shoot on sight! <laughs> Sir, a hole in the wall? Must have been a fireplace here once. Must have kicked through, climbed up the chimney. What? Gas mask, fast! Unit 1, do you copy? I think Brandon needs some help, Lieutenant. We can't help, Merkel. Orders. It's my heart. Stand back. Stand back! Let us do our job! Batman, Selena. Somebody just said he's alive. Maybe we'll see him. We'll see his corpse. Sir, the 
has taken out Unit 3. The whole unit, Commissioner. This will not do. This will not do at all. What's wrong with our marksmen? I trust you didn't get me a blind marksman, did you? No, sir. He's our best man. But there are a hundred places to hide in there. Until the sun is higher in the sky, it won't be long, sir. The only other survivor of the attack shares a shrieking shadow with me. I owe him an apology. I made a mess of things. Let it all get out of hand. The enemy is closing in. Relentless. Unstoppable. Through a crack in the wall, I look at him. With my belt, I lost my rope. My thermite. My tear gas. Even my batarangs. I'm down to the blowgun in my boot. Step it up! Careful! Stairs are giving! What the hell? Just a cat, man. It's a bat we're after. Keep an eye out! Knew he wouldn't stay quiet. Siamese. Down to the blowgun. And it's three darts. An unofficial invention of Wayne Electronics. Haven't tested it for this great a distance. Or for use in daylight. Too bad I can't afford to patent. I'd make a fortune. But then, I already have a fortune. If I didn't, I couldn't have built the device. If my family manor weren't placed over a huge cave. The Bat Cave. I call it. It's full of bats. Extraordinary creatures, bats. Nearly blind. They're sensitive to range of sound far beyond our hearing. It took me weeks to find an ultrasonic tone that attracts them. All of them. Wayne Manor is miles from Gotham. It'll take a few minutes to get here. Should things go well. Wait. Wait. Let them waste all the time they want. <coughs> Steady, man. Just that cat again. Getting on my nerves. Ugh. Whoever Batman is, he's stronger than a... Quiet. He could be... Anywhere! Said he was in the chimney there. Hold it, you idiot! Drop that beam! They weren't quick enough! They're useless! We're lucky he didn't kill them! Now fan out! You're leaving yourselves wide open! The slightest dose of anaconda on the darts. Enough to put a man to sleep. For a day or so. Twelve men left. Two darts. No good. One bullet will make all the difference. They've got thousands. There! Can't see him! Where? Move so fast! Dark! Could be anywhere! What? Damn that cat! There! So fast! Tagged him. Close in. Commissioner, for God's sake, come in. Those idiots are firing out the windows. For God's sake, up. Got him. Get in close. Cut that bastard in half. Got him. Man, we've got him. Groggy. Losing too much blood. Had to put a bullet in my good leg, didn't they? Forget it. Ignore it. Put what's left into it. You're the one. Tried to shoot the cat. <coughs> 
can't move! Get me out! The crowd is all screams and angry shouts. And I hear a wrecking ball take out the wall. And a hardware store clatter across the street. The cheer goes up. I made a hero out of him. And the cheering disintegrates. And the screaming starts again. chased a cloud of bats for 12 blocks. When the cloud broke up, he found out that was all he was chasing. Somewhere along the way, the Batman must have taken a turn. Told his pets to keep going. Always eager to please the Commissioner, Detective Swanson pursued the bats to the better end. <laughs> Speaking of better ends... Every member of Brandon's team, every cop, and everybody in the crowd were vaccinated for their bat bites. Never have so many had so much trouble sitting down. The owner of a nearby men's store opened up his shop four hours later to find a three-piece suit missing. And payment for it sitting on his cash register. Four of Brandon's men were hospitalized with broken bones. Pratt, who Batman had punched through a brick wall, suffered from five broken ribs and internal bleeding. The dead winos had no relatives to complain about their firebombing. Everyone who would have ordered Brandon or Loeb up on charges remains unavailable to me by appointment or phone. June 9th. As has my prime suspect in this case, Bruce Wayne, the richest man in Gotham. Sergeant Essen informed me that Wayne's parents were murdered by a mugger when he was six years old. That's enough motive, I suppose, to make a man dress like Dracula and assault criminals. And save cats. Wayne's butler informed me that his boss has been skiing in Switzerland for six weeks. Squeeze permission for an international call from Captain Pierce. I've had easier root canals. I think Pierce was paying for the call out of his own pocket. And I spoke to somebody in Switzerland who said he was Bruce Wayne. Then he told me he'd taken a nasty spill on the slopes, broken both legs and one arm. And assured me he'd be back in the country in a month. Said he'd be happy to talk with me. Laughed when I mentioned Batman. Asked me for his autograph. Wayne could afford an impersonator, and cast on his arm and legs, would cover bullet wounds, exactly where Batman received them. I'm sorry, Essen, did you say something? Yes, sir. It's quitting time. Share a cab? Think of her as a cop. Think of her as a cop. June 15th. I leave the casts and the sleeping alibis back at the lodge. They were so eager to support my story with Lieutenant Gordon. All I had to say was that a woman was involved. One of them even pretended to be me, just for laughs, before I arrived. The air is cold and sharp, and hard to breathe. It's good to be alive. I don't deserve to be alive. This isn't a game. I can't afford mistakes. I have to learn to make it work. Step by step. Method by method. That won't be enough. Too many people want me dead. I can't do it alone. I need an ally. An inside man. I need Jim Gordon on my side. June 17th. Selena, you punched Stan! We're changing our line of work, Holly. I got an idea. July 5th. It's 
getting to be a habit for Essen and I to have a cup of coffee at the local diner before calling it a night. Actually, I'm the only one who has coffee. She goes for herb tea. She'd qualify as a health nut if she didn't smoke. We stay longer tonight, hoping to wait out the rain. We'll run out of shop talk, but keep going. Turns out her first name is Sarah, and her family is from Germany, a generation back. She's got a thing about the bad rap that Germans generally get. She got into law enforcement after being told she was too masculine for about six other careers. Whoever told her she was masculine must have been blind, deaf, and dead. The rain's eased up and I'm an hour late and feeling terrible about having forgotten to call Barbara when we decide to risk it and look for a cab. A group of bikers notice Essen's legs and make the usual remarks. We ignore them and keep walking. Turns out she's from Chicago some years back. Small world. Even went to the same place for ribs. I'm sure I would have noticed her. Oh, come to think of it, she was probably in high school then. Gotham weather. Just when the rain seems to be clearing up, lightning flashes. Then we learned how Noah felt. Not having an arc, we settle for a doorway. The cab comes. She takes it. We don't say goodnight. August 7th. I don't know, Selena. I mean, you spent all our money on that costume. I mean, it's pretty queer. I mean, it's money, Holly. Be a kick. Just watch. Selena! I hate this city. I hate myself and the night and everything it brings. Mostly I hate when she cries. Another fight. I fight so much. Barbara and I. She tells me I'm way too much. Just when I should apologize, I snap at her. I freeze up inside. Tonight, she called the office, and I wasn't there. I was out having coffee with Sarah. Sarah. My God. I'm calling her Sarah now. It's all wrong. And Bob is right, as always. Right now, I should be talking to her. Begging her to forgive me. The baby in her stomach and the way that I'm thinking about Essen. That's right. Call her Essen. Look at how she felt. How her body and her lips felt. Barbara. I should talk to her. I shouldn't be thinking. Not about Sergeant Essen. Not about Batman. He's a criminal. I'm a cop. It's that simple. But I'm a cop in a city where the mayor and the commissioner of police use cops as hired killers. He saved that old woman. He saved that cat. He even paid for that suit. The hunk of metal in my hands is heavier than ever. Chapter 4 Friend in Need September 2nd it's the right thing to do. It's the only thing to do. You should take the bracelet. I'm sure your wife will like it. No, please, Sarah, keep it. Damn it, Jim. You're right, of course. I just want to know, if your wife weren't pregnant, would you? I'm sorry, it wasn't fair. Damn it, Jim. Hero Cop Lieutenant James Gordon today apprehended notorious narcotics dealer Jefferson Skeevers. It looks like Gordon's out to set a record. Right, Tom? It sure does, Trish. He's caught a big fish this time. If Skeever is convicted, this will be the fourth time he goes to prison. Bet they throw away the key. Her arms are strong. Her whole body's strong. It's late. We've both worked late again. I never get tired around her. She's requested a transfer. She's leaving Gotham City. I'm in love with her. It's the only thing to do. 
Judge Rafferty set bail for Jefferson Skeevers. Surprisingly, Assistant District Attorney Harvey Dent did not argue with this decision. I know you aren't on the take, and I don't think you're crazy. So tell me why you let them skeevers out on the street, Dent. I understand how you feel, Lieutenant. Would you like to borrow my umbrella? No, no, none of that. You stay clean until you've gotten off. Don't sweat it, babe. Just a couple of lines. Dent and Gordon are hot for you, skeevers. They'd love to catch you with your pants down. Catch me? They caught me, babe. And they'll let me go. And you got me a court order trying Gordon's hands? I mean, I'd be sweating, babe, if it wasn't for our cop. They'll nail me and I'll talk about Flass. And maybe Flass talks about Commissioner Lowe. You say one word about Flass and they'll kill both of us, Skeevers. Take that thing out of your nose and listen to me. Just a couple of lines. Where do I start? Bad enough that you're black. I want you in a blue suit at the inquest. With a tie. Make it black. Save for your shoes. None of that pimp stuff. When you smile at the jury, make it nice. Particularly the women. I smiled at them, okay? Just remember, they've still got their clothes on. Close the window. What the hell? Skeevers? You alright? I'm fine. Better lay off that coke. Bad on the nerves. You can never escape me. Bullets don't harm me. Nothing harms me. But I know pain. I know pain. Sometimes I share it with someone like you. I want to talk to Dent. Cop a plea. I want to talk about Flass. Merkel, get Dent. Forget to tell the commissioner. I'm gone. Sources inside the police department revealed that Gotham Police Detective Arnold Flass has been implicated in Skeever's drug operation. September 13th. Detective Flass is a friend of mine, Gordon. You might have at least informed me of your plans before handing his head to internal affairs. It was a slip, sir. Everybody's working such long hours. Friendship, Gordon? Loyalty? These words still count for something in Gotham City. We took you in. Yes, we did. Blemishes and all. And you do have your blemishes. And you go and- I've done exactly what I promised, Commissioner. You get my best work. You get good press. I'll give you that. They like you, don't they? Aki and his pack at the Gazette. But they don't know you. No, they don't. Not the way we know you. Terrible if they or your wife learned of the special nature of your relationship. Sergeant S. Walls have ears, Jimmy. Commissioner Loeb assures Gotham that the manhunt for the Batman continues. With hero cop James Gordon on the case. The butler makes us feel as welcome as a virus. He leads us through a few dozen rooms the size of small states to Wayne's study. Wayne's been out of the country. Wayne's had the flu. This morning I was told he had a hangover, but he'd seen. Better than having Barbara stay at home and worry about being so overdue. Police Lieutenant and Mrs. Gordon, sir. Miss Gordon, I'm charmed. Alfred, be a joy and get some glasses for our guests. And another bottle. This one's evaporated. A little early in the day for us, thanks. Mr. Wayne, I don't want to waste your time. 
My time is worthless, Lieutenant. Just ask Alfred. Hm. I've been following your exploits, Lieutenant. And I must say that I'm impressed. You're getting as much press as Batman. It is Batman you want to talk about, isn't it? Something about my being him? Excuse me. It must be the champagne. I neglected to introduce my friend. You see, I'm not sure of her name, and she doesn't speak any language I know. How convenient. Barbara, Mr. Wayne, I need to know where you were on the following dates. He laughs and rings for his butler. His butler brings his date book. I can auction off the phone numbers in his date book for a fortune. They're all women. They're all famous. They're all beautiful. He's a pig. He's acting like one, that's for sure. But, but any man who'd wear a cape, and it's a cape, not wings, I've seen it. Anybody who'd wear a cape and hunt criminals might go pretty far to keep his secrets. Secrets, damn it all. Jim, what is it? Honey, there's something we have to talk about. Ten minutes he's been there. Now he's moving. Good. Alfred, how did you like my performance? Positively vaudevillain, sir. I gather that the remaining bottle of club soda may be left in its proper container? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you'll take up flying next. Like that fellow in Metropolis. Skeever's told us where and when and how much money you received, Flass. And you've been spending a lot more than you're earning. You're facing ten years in prison, Flass. That's if Skeevers is alive enough to testify. Uh, my client didn't mean that. October 5th. Yes, I know about Detective Essen. Don't bother calling here again. October 7th. Somebody slips rat poison into Skeever's food. Merkel gets his stomach pumped in time. October 10th. Skeever's is still gonna testify against Flass. Doesn't care that his attorney quit. Whatever he's scared of, it, it's... What's so funny, Dent? October 12th. Lieutenant Gordon? It's a boy. Your wife is fine. Fourth in a daring series of cat burglaries, Commissioner Loeb's private collection of pop memorabilia is valued at $40,000. November 2nd. 40000 Sure. Where am I supposed to sell it? Thought he'd have jewels or paintings. Not now, Otto. Loeb was quick to charge the Batman with the crime. Batman? They're giving the credit to Batman? Aces. But, Selena, you don't want them to know it's you, do you? Leaving Gotham to wonder, is the Batman a vigilante? Or a thief? A Robin Hood? In other news, Detective Arnold Flass faces indictment tomorrow on those drug charges. I hear the Romans got a fortune in old stuff. Maybe I'll give him a scratch or two before I steal it. Won't think it's Batman if I give him a scratch. Where'd I put that damn costume? And I want to be a friend to you. I fixed it, Selena. Come along now and join the party. Selena, I fixed it. Scratch him. On the face. Just once. He could use it. Industry experts were stunned by the demonstration of unheard of possibilities for lightweight, durable plastics. Johnny, little Johnny, you're a man now, a strong man. And how is my sister, my beautiful, faithful sister? Mother is well, sir. She sends her deepest devotion. She prays for your continued success. I fear I need her prayers, Johnny. I need her, son. 
And you have shown that you are brave as Horatius, Johnny. Have I ever told you of Horatius? One man of a narrow bridge, holding the line against hundreds. Until it has thrilled me every time, sir. I am, of course. Yours. Mother has said that there are several men who are plaguing you, sir. I need only be told their names. Your mother is wise in her way. You see, Johnny, there are too many people in the world who ask questions, and far, far too many who give answers. Mother said, we must avoid more bad publicity, Johnny. Listen to me. I will tell you what must be done. Over there! It's a woman! What's going on out? Let go of me, you idiot! How'd she get up here? Who the hell? Claws my face! Batman! You work for Batman! I want her alive! In pain! Oh God! Somebody help me! How'd she get up here? Johnny, you don't have a chance. Johnny? What the? Batman? It's... My God, it's... Where? Wasting my time. My face! My face! November 3rd. Master Bruce, I've come across a fascinating piece in the Times. Concerns the effects of lack of sleep among the marginally sane. Quiet, Alfred. Your mother is wise in her way. If only that woman hadn't been there. The Roman was about to tell his nephew- I must avoid more bad publicity, Johnny! Marked increased in paranoia. Hmm. I should have crippled the Roman's nephew. Would have bought us time. No. He'd have just gotten somebody else. At least I know who he's using. Avoid more bad publicity. Tendency toward more aberrant, even violent behavior. He doesn't want bad publicity. It follows that he won't murder anyone. That leaves blackmail or... Off again, sir. Shall I fetch your tights? Never during the day, Alfred. Last night's incident connects the Batman with the recent cat burglaries. A woman with claws. Presumably Batman's assistant. Assistant? Said to have... Now I'm his assistant? I'll have to do something really nasty next time. Gordon. Johnny. Once a man becomes a father, he is never truly free. Listen closely. Feeding time. My turn, honey. Easy now. Getting it warm. Yes, Commissioner? Sir, Merkel's on duty. He could... Yes, sir. On my way. Gordon is leaving his apartment. Tell the Roman. Third rate witness and nickel and dime open and shut domestic grievance and low knows I've only had two hours of sleep. Maniac. Should arrest them. Wait a minute. Heading into my building's garage. I don't recognize him. Suddenly my stomach's cold as death and I'm twisting the wheel again. Nickel and dime domestic. Getting me out of the apartment. Barbara. James. No sign of the motorcycle. Plenty of places to hide in here. Come on, come on. I'm ready for you. Drop the gun, Lieutenant. Go to your office. Wait for our call. Jim! If I let them go, they're dead. Can't go for a wound. Good, Barbara. Stay low. Guard one of the shoulder. So that my aim off just for a second. Wasn't supposed to happen. 
Get out of here! He's crazy! Behind me, motorcycle starts. Get out of here, Barbara! Call a cop! There, I can still see him. James! Don't move! I'll shoot! I will! Miss Gordon, you have to trust me. I won't let your boy die. Driver hits the brakes too late. Going too fast. The bridge shakes. I listen to the rending metal clattering glass. I listen. The radiator hisses, spits water on the street. I don't hear a human sound. I don't hear my baby cry. Metal rail digs into my back. He's heavy. No. No! That's right. Good boy. Settle down now. You're safe. You must be wearing some armor under that jacket. Yes. You know, I'm practically blind without my glasses. The siren's coming. You'd better go. Turns out Flass is smarter than anybody knew. He took notes on every little talk he'd had with Commissioner Lowell. Dates, times, it was all there. Two weeks and five days in jail, and he remembered where he kept the notes. Lowe's holding up pretty well under the strain. Judge Norton's on the case, so I don't think Dent has a chance of putting him behind bars. But where it is, Lowe's conferring with the mayor on the terms of his resignation. December 3rd. They've already got Grogan primed to replace him. What's worse? Still, things aren't so bad right now. The Roman's been at war with his sister ever since he tried to get a hired knife slid between his nephew's ribs. And if you run into his sister back in Chicago a few years ago, I don't envy the Roman. They were all too busy to stand in the way of my promotion to captain. Sarah's in New York doing well, I hear. Barbara's not crazy about the marriage counselor, but we're making progress. As for me, well, there's a real panic on Somebody's threatening to poison the Gotham Reservoir. Calls himself the Joker. I've got a friend coming who might be able to help. Should be here any minute. 